Well, this is one place you haven't seen us for a while. In the kitchen with a cooking video. Sharon. Strawberry jam. We're going to be making strawberry jam. Right, well we've been strawberry picking this morning and we've got a punnet of fresh strawberries. We took the... Uh... Yes, correct you. Go on, here we go. Baskets. That, that's a punnet. What's the difference between a punnet and a basket? Handle. Did you know that? I can't say no because I don't know whether she's telling me the truth or not. We've got this basket of strawberries here, which we picked all of our own. Absolutely fantastic. Oh! They are so sweet. Anyway, if you pick your own, we found this place uh, in Boston where you literally just pick up a basket or a punnet, whatever you want. Sharon filled a whole punt at basket up. How much that lot cost? Five pounds. What about just so? What was the weight of it? Don't know. Don't know. But anyway, you just fill up your basket as to what you want. And I don't think you can see that. Absolutely. Look, we've got tons of them. Absolutely. It was full up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was full up. So. She's just sh uh, hulling them now, and that involves just cutting out the little bit of stalk that's in there. I don't mind them personally, but uh, it, the recipe calls for hulling them, which is just cut that little bit of stalk out. And we've got this um, jam pot. Preserving pan. All right, preserving pan. Now, the last time we done black carrot, black carrot, was it blackberry? Blackberry yeah. jam last year. Uh, we didn't have that. We didn't have one of these. So Sharon's gone out, or our daughter got out, uh, bought us this, I think, didn't she? Only birthday, wasn't it? I think. And the handy thing is it's got all measurements fluted up the side. I don't think you can't probably see that there. No, you probably can't see it. But it's got all the measurements up the side there. Plus it's also solid. Uh, what is this, aluminium, is it, or steel? I don't know. Thick base as well, isn't it? It's got a thick base on it. And I think I mentioned in my last aluminium. video, when we did it before, over the gas, you need a thick base. They used to make these out of copper, didn't they? Yeah. These with uh, thick copper bases. And all that basically does is when you put it over the flame, for example, is that you don't get the heat just uh, concentrating in one area. It actually dissipates the heat across the whole lot. So less chance of the jam sticking to the bottom of the pan, which is never a good thing. That introduces bitterness into the uh, into the mix sort of thing. So anyway, so we got that. So what's, what's the actual ingredients for this, Sharon? Just strawberries, lemon, and I use jam sugar, because it's got everything in it, the pectin. And right, yeah, this is jam sugar, this is. Um, Although it's made by a Tate and Lyle, which is a normal sugar manufacturer, this has got added pectin in it. Now, pectin is the actual um, ingredient which thickens the jam up. I think some fruits have got natural pectin in them, but for example, some of them haven't. So um, you can actually buy jam sugar, which this is, with the pectin in. So you don't know, how much weight are we going to put into this? Are we just boiling them all up or what? No, I'm doing two kilograms. I've already hulled one kilogram, which is over there. Oh, I see. So this is a second kilogram, yeah. and these are the remainders. So yeah. you're just measuring out two kilograms. Two, two kilograms of strawberries. Be two bags of that. Two bags of this. So again, that's two kilograms of sugar. And two lemons. Two right? lemons. Squeezed juice. So juice just the juice lemon. of the lemon. So all that goes into the pot with no water. No, that's it. I, I take the recipe off of there, actually, there one. Oh, how about that, eh? That was the first one I ever done, there's, it was nice. There's not really a lot to it, to be honest with you. And as you say, on the back of this packet, it's got the actual recipe on there. So that is literally all the ingredients. And you have to boil this up, and you've got to go over 100 degrees. I think it's about 105 degrees centigrade. Is that right? Same there. I don't even think they put temperature on here. Boil steady for about six minutes until setting point is reached. Right, now setting point is something where you, uh, you need to get to that level of hotness, so to speak, and the way you check that is when you've been boiling it, say for example, six minutes, you take a little piece out, put it on a cold plate, a little piece of the jam, and then put it in the fridge for a few minutes, is that right? Yeah. And then when you take it out of the fridge, on the on the little plate you put it on, you tip the plate up and the jam shouldn't run down, it should have set in other words, so that should, should wrinkle. it should wrinkle when you push your finger on it as well, just to, so that's how you know that the jam is going to be good enough when you uh, put it in the jars. And also what you've got to do, you've got to sterilise the jars as well, Sharon, is that right? Yeah, I'll put them in the oven. So you give them a good cleaning, some uh, soapy water or whatever. 
they wash them out, and then she puts them in the oven on a temperature of... 180, I think it is, for about six minutes. 180. Wait there, we'll be back in a second. Just got to answer the phone. Answer it now, shall we? Hello? Oh, it's your daughter. It's, 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 it's uh, Delia Smith. Yeah. Wants a bit of help for her own jam. Um... Tell her, tell her, yeah, put it, come here, Tracy. We're going to put you on loudspeaker. You're on actual camera at the moment. We're making jam at the moment, yeah? You've had our jam before, or Mummy's jam before. What do you think of it? Oh, oh you, hold on, hold on. Hello? Why, why do you make it, Mum? What's the reasoning? I don't really know, because I like to do things like this. It must be a reason. Because my grandchildren like strawberry jam, and I put it in my sponge I, Tracy, I know the reason why she likes making her own jam. I'm not saying it. Eh? Hey? Of course it is. It's made by Nanny and with Nanny's love. And what ain't it got in it? I don't know. Come on. No, I'm not saying it. Come on, don't show you. Come on. Up. Tell the people why you're making oh, your yeah. own jam. Because I like to do it. Tell, oh, tell them, Tracy. Tell her what she told you the other day and what she said in her last jam making video. Of her mouth. Go on. She doesn't like the additives and preservatives, do you, Mum? That's right. <laughs> Did you know that they are actually called preserves anyway, which means that is a form of preservative anyway. I've got all the e-numbers in, though, is it? Like I'm putting in. Eh? Hey? I'm not putting all the e-numbers in. Hey, oh, we've got her to... There she, you go. She's having a little rant now, everybody. So, yeah, we're making jam at the moment, Tracy. You're making two kilograms. Tracy also come uh, picking with us this morning. And what did you get, Tracy? Um, strawberries, I did have. Straw. <laughs> no, I mean, you only got... Yeah, I'm going to ask Tracy that question. Listen to this one. Right. You, what did you get? What, what sort of quantity did you get? Uh, I would say I probably got three pounds. No, I'm not talking about amount. I'm talking what did about you the, carry it in? the contain the container. I what? Got a punnet. You got a punnet, and what did we get? You got a basket. Oh. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Why? What did he? Say? I called this what we've got. I called it a punnet, and she corrected me in front of everybody. Punnet. Eh? Look, I don't go strawberry picking as a rule. I'll tell you one thing I do know, what you wouldn't know. What's that? Right, we, there's a container you can carry around in your garden when you pick your vegetables, and what do you put them in? Oh, basket. Basket, that ever so beautiful. Oh, what? I like them baskets. What are they called, Sharon? I don't know actually what they're called. I've got a back. This is 15 Love. You watch this. Ready? Yeah. It's called a trug. It's not a trug like you. A trug. Yeah. Google it. T R U G, I think it is, or it might be a double oh, G. Can spell Tracy. Get a little sun at. So if we're talking about baskets, I'm your man. Well, no. If we're talking about trucks, you're yeah, not. yeah, that's what a truck is. As I say, you see people who buy garden produce; they have a truck. A truck. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely not a penny. Yeah. Hold on, Tracy. What do you want? I'm hungry. Jimmy's around. J Jimmy's the other side of the camera. Everybody, he's not been well. He's saying he's hungry. Come round here, see everyone. Oh, Come round here. Come on. No. Look, no one's going to laugh at your Spider-Man pyjamas. Come on. <laughs> Stop it, Batman, then. Here's <laughs> a spoon. Here's one of our T-shirts, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, which uh, me and Sharon done. I've done this on a... Uh, what was it, Sharon? On my other channel, didn't I? A As heat a, press. On, on my, uh, one of my other channels where we make the T-shirts, or Sharon helps me do that or whatever. Sharon does it, basically. But I did this one. And for those of you who want to know about the transfer, this is a transfer here. Stop touching me! Of an owl. And this is the vinyl. The one. The one. Uh, we haven't got no. that one. You do know what? the strings on the Don't say that, Jimmy. You're throwing me now, aren't you? I don't know that. We're fucking talking to bleating self. I forgot what I was saying now. Look, what was I saying, Sharon? Oh, yeah. That's been through the washing machine. People were wondering what the transfers look like when they go through the washing machine. Sharon, come and show them. About the washing machine, now it goes through the washing machine. They're more interested in my strawberry jam. It's only once anyway it's been through, isn't it? Show us, show us it. Look. Look, no loss of colour anyway, no fading or whatever, anything like that. So anyway, I won't bore you with that. So right, what are we doing now, Sharon? Washing them. Tracy, you've got to go. We're busy, halfway through a documentary, yeah? Oh, well, I had a shattering news for you, but I think... Go on. Oh, let us know, come on. I know, I'm joking. All right, say bye-bye to everyone, Tracy. Bye-bye, people. I'll wait for you. Yeah. Bye bye, see you later. Tracy? These are the We're having the barbecue shortly, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Hang on, I'll wash them. Eh? Hey? All day I've been angling, didn't get one. Well, I told you you could come. Uh, I've got raised pork in the oven and you're turning from the hob. Alright then, we're going to go then. See you later, we're working anyway. Go, okay. go, go, go on. See you later. <laughs> bye bye. 
Got rid of her, innit? Right, what do you want, Jimmy? We've got to go. We're working. Right, let's go have a look at this sham. Right, so you're just refreshing the rest. These are what's left over, Sharon, is that right? Yeah, my son's going to start eating some of these. You want some strawberries, Jimmy? Yeah. Right, so that's all we've got left over. Jim. Get a bowl out. So you've husked all these, yeah? Hold. Hold, Hold them. There's Hold. that transfer, everyone, look. Lovely, isn't it? That's been through the washing machine. No fading, no cracking, anything. Look, anyway, that's another story. Right, so what have we got over here? Let's have a look. Right, so we've got basically two kilograms of strawberries in here. Right, so we're just going to prepare two lemons now. Is it two, you said? Yeah. Right, so two lemons. Always roll them first, ladies and gentlemen, on the counter, because that makes them a bit more, that makes the juice come out a little bit better. So we're just going to squeeze these lemons. Right, this is bison, ladies and gentlemen. We've had him for a couple of weeks, haven't we, Sharon? Yeah. He's a Rottweiler. Yeah. Let me get rid of the husks for you, yeah? Let me, play, let me, take, a part, let me take part in this, because I'll be taking credit for this. Yeah. Right, let's get rid of that. See, when you're in the kitchen, you've got to work as a team. But someone's got to give the orders. Yeah? Isn't that right, baby? Mm. So how many jars do you reckon you're gonna get out of this? Maybe ten. Ten jars of jam. Be nice. We ain't gonna eat ten jars of jam. You no, know, my brother's coming up, he wants a jar. The grandchildren, they all want. Yeah, I basically I personally I don't eat jam. But I put it in my cakes, don't I? But I'll tell you where I do eat jam. On a scone with cream. Sharon. That's not made, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. A That's a lovely little thing, that. Right, come on in, let's get this finished. I'm getting impatient now. Right, so that's right, we've got two lemons in there then. Let's get that out of your way. And don't forget, as I say, you don't need to add any water to this at all. Right, so all we've got to do is wait now, is that right? Yeah, wait for it to soften, then we add the sugar. And they should mush up lovely. So we'll come back to them in a second. When we put the oven on, actually, ready to sterilise the jars. Right, yeah, so don't forget to do that. Have we got the jars ready now? Right. Starts. Well, you've got a stack of jars, haven't you? Because mm. people keep bringing us jars around, don't they? Oh, they like my goods. So rather than throw them away, people bring jars around to us, and uh, we've got a big cupboard full of jars as well, so that's handy. But we don't need any more jars. So anyone watching this now, shall I tell them? We don't need any more. We don't need any more jars. As they've, as they've started to heat up, can you smell that? Can you smell that sweetness? Sure can. Oh, it's, you know what it smells like? Candy floss. And there's no sugar in there yet. It's just literally a pure strawberry jam. Let's have a closer look. Oh, see what you mean about them. Oh, see the juice coming out of them already? Look, at the bottom. Oh, there's the lemon juice as well. Oh, yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, but it's not that amount, surely. But as I say, it doesn't take long before them to break down. So we're just going to stir these now so they break down a little bit and we'll come back to you in a second. You're just getting the bottles ready now, aren't you? Right, so they'll go in the oven. Right, that's that. Right, so we're going to get the old jam sugar now. Yeah, I know, it's amazing. Right, so we're going to put the jam sugar in now. Can you see how much liquid's come out of them, look, at the moment? Absolutely amazing. So we're going to put the two kilograms now. So we've got two kilograms of strawberries, and that goes in, which is two kilograms of preserved jam. Now, what's it called? Jam sugar. Jam sugar, which has got the pectin already in it. And it might look a lot, but don't forget, you only have a thin spread of this on your um, cakes or bread or whatever. Ideal for making cakes with as well, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is what I make mine for. We don't really eat a lot of jam, do we? Yeah. We have it in there. We're not big jam eaters, although the kids, let's just say, the kids might have a bit of jam on toast, but uh, if she makes a cake or whatever, she'll use jam and cream or whatever to go into a, a cake or whatever. Now, so we've got literally, there's four kilograms of stuff in there, isn't there? So you're just going to stir this now, we're going to bring it to the boil and you're saying boil it for six minutes. Boil steadily for about six minutes or until setting point is achieved. Yeah, so it could be longer. Yeah, so we'll test it as well. Right, so we're just going to stir this now till it comes up to the boil and then we'll take a little piece out, put it on a saucer and then we'll put it in the fridge and then we'll leave it for about five minutes and see if it sets all right. And it smells good. Oh, it smells lovely. Right, see you again in a minute. Right, we've come to the boil now, and uh, how far are we on the boiling, Sharon? Two minutes. Right, about two minutes. So, as you can see, it's really uh, bulked up now with air. And uh, again, nothing's been added to this apart from what you've seen go in. And we're just keeping it moving so it don't stick to the bottom. So, um, you'll be stirring it for about six minutes. I've been looking for my thermometer. I've got a digital thermometer, as you know, and um, 
I can't find it anywhere. So we're just going to use the time as our factor, which is about six minutes at this sort of boiling stage. And then we'll put a little piece on the plate and put it quickly in the fridge. And uh, we'll pull it out of the fridge and then we'll see if it uh, solidifies. So we'll come back to you in about six minutes. Right, well, while you're stirring that, Sean, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the hot jars out of the oven now. So um, I'll do that. Now, these have been in there for probably about 10 minutes. Yeah. About 10 minutes. On a high heat, uh, they will be, oh, that's hot. They will be lovely and sterilized now, they will. Now, one thing as well, when you're making jam, you've got to remember that the temperatures of that hot pot is gonna be over 100 degrees. So, you don't want any animals near any, if any, look, we've got a big Rottweiler here, as you can probably see, Bison. You don't want him anywhere near, you don't want kids running about at your feet, so jam making is fun. I like it. Sharon likes it, but keep the little tiddly tots or fingers out of the way. As I say, all the preparation work is really hot stuff, so um, just like my wife. <laughs> right, so I'm okay, just... Gets right, hold on. Right, so let's get that over to one side there. Now I'm just going to prepare the uh, cold plate now. And we'll put a little bit of jam on the plate because we, well, we're over the six minutes now, I think, Sharon, aren't we? Oh, right, get up, Bison. Out of the way. Go on. So I'll get a little saucer out. Room temperature plate. Let's put that on there. Right, okay, so we just want a drop of this liquid, don't we? Mm. Don't want a strawberry. I oh, don't want a strawberry. I didn't mean to pick one up. So, right, I'm just going to put that on the plate. Just spread it out a bit. I'm going to do three little runs of it there, look, as you can see. And that's literally all I've done. So what I'm going to do now is put that in the fridge for a couple of minutes. So let's do that now. Right, I've put that in the, on the bottom shelf of the fridge because the bottom part of the fridge is obviously going to be the coldest because cold hair drops down, heat rises, as you know. Now let's have a little go at this. Oh, oh, that tastes like jam, Sharon. Oh, that's super. Oh, Sharon, I'll tell you what. That's one of the best jams you've made this weekend. Eh? Yeah. Right, so we'll just give that a couple of minutes anyway, as I say, but Sharon's going to carry on stirring anyway. And I'll put that in the sink. Never put your germs back into a sterilized environment you lead because what preserves are as you know they are preserves they're preservatives not they're not preservatives they've been this is a way of preserving the strawberries basically that's what you're doing here and introducing that's why these have got to be clean because when you seal that in they can last literally months and months so providing and it's always the same thing once you've actually opened any preserve or jar or can or whatever you've then got to use it within a certain amount of time because then it starts to deteriorate so but you put them in the jars you sterilize the jars that's sterilized because that's boiling or piping hot so any bacteria has been killed so once you put it in a jar seal the jar that's it then you can store them for like months and months and months but as soon as you open them then you've got eaten within a certain amount of time so that's how it works anyway right okay it's been about five minutes now plate's nice and cold this is the jam which we put on there, as you can see there. Now, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that consistency. Now, I'm just going to nudge it up with my finger, and what we're hoping is going to happen is that's going to crinkle up a little bit. So let's have a little go. Is it crinkling up? Right, well... No, it's not running... It's not back running back up. down, no, but... We've given that a bit, little bit longer, as you can see. We've... Um, I don't think we need... I think it's nearly there when we've done this five minutes ago. So we're boiling it, as I say, for another five minutes. And what you'll find is, it's not running. So I think the extra five minutes or so we've given it will now make it okay. So that, if it normally, as I say, if it runs down the plate, which it's definitely not doing there, as you can see, look, it's holding its shape, really. Yeah, it's definitely not running down. So the extra five minutes we've given it should be okay. So we're gonna call that a success. Right, so what we're we gonna do now, baby? Right, we're going to let it stand, and then you're just going to take the surface, uh, like the foamy bit, like the foamy bit off of the top of it. So yeah. we're going to let that sit now About 15 minutes. for 15 minutes, and we'll get back to you when we've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was watching the bubbles. Then. Well, don't watch the bubbles, baby. Watch me. Right, 
right, it's been about 15 minutes now. And what we're going to do now is just take the scum or the, what's it called? Oh, Froth called off the top. So here we go, 15 minutes into it. We've now let it set a little bit now. And what I've actually done, I put another lot in the fridge. So this will be the proof as to whether it will set or it was set. So if I push that up now, and as you can see there, it stays up there. So that means that yes, by us waiting that little bit further, it has actually set. So we're well happy with that. As you can see, look, we're just taking the surface off and that's the frothy, frothy, foamy bit there. Just get rid of that, shall? And we'll just skim all that off the surface. It's a little bit tricky because you've got lumps there, as you know, all the uh, strawberries float to the surface. So it's just a matter of just trying to skim underneath and just getting the surface off. And as you can see, the underneath there, you've got the lovely clear uh, jam. So we're going to carry on doing this now and we'll see you again in a second. Right, there we go. So we've had a good scum off. As you can see, we've pulled that amount of, um, as you can see, it, it, it just doesn't look very appetizing, but you can still use that. What can you use that for, Sharon? Put on your ice cream, maybe? Still use it. I mean, it's not a waste. Don't waste it, eh? So yeah, make use of that if you want to. As I say, it's only that we don't really want that in the jar. That's all it was, because it'll frost up the jar. So anyway, that's that. Right, here we go then. Here's our jam. Get up, Dusty, that way. Right, so we've got this little jam funnel there. This just helps you um, put it into the jars before we ladled it in. But all you do is you put it next to the jar there. And literally, can get a bit sticky this, so uh, just sort of be careful because it's very, very hot then, that fluid. So whack it in there because you really want a clean rim around your top of your jar, you see. So quickly place that and try not to get any drips down the side. So we'll just go buzz along and do this now. Now you did say that you'd probably get 10 jars out oh, of this lot. Little bats. They're not all little jars, are they? They're all different sized jars. Yeah, we've got some big jars, some little jars, as you can see. And as you can see, this little funnel here, it just aids you not um, getting, getting it running down the side, you see. But as I say, we've let it cool down for about 15 minutes, so it's just a little bit easier to Poor. Cool, that was perfect showing that one. Well, as you can see there, lovely uh, red jam there, lovely strawberry jam. That might overflow that one. Yeah, you've got to be careful, baby. See, some of these jars we've got here aren't really big enough, but we can still get it in there. It just means that we've got to wipe the edge of the glass. It's handy if the old glass jars fit this tool. Otherwise, we're going to have to clean the outer part of the glass, you see, so. That's fine. So, what are you going to do with these last one then? Just do it by hand. See, this is the way we did it last year, but you get it all running down the side of the glass, as you can see there. So, it's just another cleaning job you have to do, and it ends up with a sticky jar if you ain't careful, so. But we're going to go for it anyway. Do you want me to tip that up a little bit? There you are. You might get one more jar out of that little one there, look. Ma. Finger. Burnt your finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very hot, baby. Oh, look at that. Absolutely near enough perfection, Sharon. How'd you manage it? Hey? Well, I lied on the amount of jars, didn't I? So, what have we got there anyway? Two kilograms. See, we've got a little bit on the surface you there. Get that off in but a minute, we, we could get it off, I mean, or we could leave it in now. We're, we're just going to leave it because we're the ones who are going to be eating it at the end of the day, so we're not really too bothered about it. Right, now we've also got these little discs, these little wax discs. Are they wax, Sharon? Yeah, I think so. Little wax discs. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to push these on there. Push them down, dear. Yeah. Just push it into the jam, look. So realistically, once this goes cold, it'll be ready to eat. Because the pectin would have made the jam set. Yeah. And um, you can always label it and put a date on. You've got labels, haven't you, to go yeah. on the front? So she always labels and dates them, just so that you know. But as I say, these will now stay in their jars, sealed. And what you'll find will happen, as they cool down, it creates a little vacuum inside, and it sucks the lid on, doesn't it? 
And that's why on the top of these lids, you get this little that little push push thing there, a little dimple pusher. And as that gets cold, you won't be able to push that in. Normally, when you see that where you can push the lids in, that means that the, the vacuum has been broken and the jar's been opened. In other words, then you've got to eat it. So if, that's a little tip for you there. If you ever see that flexible and it pushes in, that means the jar has been opened, so you've got to eat it within a certain amount of time. When they cool down, whew, that will pull in and you won't be able to push that in, and that you that, then you know it's sealed, and then it will last for months and months. Right, well, there you go. There's our homemade jam, strawberry jam. Picked today on a strawberry picking farm, shall we? Yeah, in Boston. In Ooh. Boston. And that's what we've done today. We're going outside to have a barbecue now because, um, what's the time now? It's quarter past six in the evening. And um, that's what we're going to do. So thanks very much for viewing our little video here of us making strawberry jam. And we'll see you again, Sharon, won't we? When? Yes. Well, I might be making a chutney soon. Right, okay, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? And we've still got these strawberries left over. Look at that, look. I'm gonna have one, yeah. Look, get one. I don't want one. You don't want one? <laughs> I've sat there and held them. Have one, go on. <laughs> I've just thought <laughs> it in a... <laughs> eh? Oh yeah, I've got mine on a t-shirt. Right, thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. See you again in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Strawberries, love them.